Welcome back, guys. Um, we're gonna talk about closed feed water heaters. So this is a uh, regenerative cycle, regenerative ranking cycle. What we have in the previous video, the link is here uh, now. Uh, we saw 155, but 156. You see that we are asked to replace the open close open feed water heater with the closed feed water heater so that's what we are going to do now uh, just a reminder and you can see that at the end of the video we have um, this is our diagram in this diagram what we have is the exit of the condenser we have a pump to increase the pressure until the open feed water heater where it mixes with the paper that comes from the turbine. As a result, the exit is at a saturated, li saturated liquid at the pressure of the, uh, the extraction pressure. We need a second pump to increase the pressure until at the boiler pressure, which in this case is 8 megapascal. Um, the rest is a reheat cycle, we expand it in a high pressure turbine. At the end, we extract it and then we divide. One part goes to reheat, low pressure turbine, expand back to the condenser. This, the fraction that we extract here goes to preheat the water here. So this is our close or open it will here. The top will be the same. What we're going to be changing is the feed water heater. So we have a vapor that comes from the compressor from the turbine. It doesn't mix and the exit we have quality of zero, that means saturated liquid. And uh, the pressure of course is Pressure six. Now uh, we need uh, this pressure is higher than the condenser pressure, so we need a expansion valve. The good news is that this enthalpy is the same as trees B, since it's an expansion process. On the other side of the heat exchanger, what we have is we have our our saturated liquid at the exit of the condenser. We increase the pump. We have a pump which we increase the pressure to the boiler pressure. In the problem, it says that the exit of the closed heat water heater, the temperature is that of the saturation temperature, the saturation temperature of the extraction uh, vapor. And since point eight, the saturation temperature is 170 degrees, actually 1.170.1, so we're gonna use 170. So the uh, pressure, the, the, the temperature at uh, the exit of the uh, close heat, uh, feed water heater will be uh, 170. We HF at, we use this trick since we don't, we don't have a compressed uh, liquid table. So now everything that, that what, what's left is just to perform our first law analysis in this. This is, as we mentioned in the theory, this is a closed, uh, heat water, uh, closed feed water heater. So no QE in or QR because we don't want heat coming from the environment or going into the environment surroundings. It's a rigid heat exchanger, so we don't have work. So everything that we know is the summation of the mass flow rates times the enthalpy minus the summation of all the mass flow rates times their, and their enthalpy. So if we again, we have y, which is the fraction that we extract times h6, that corresponds to this entrance, plus this stream. We already have all, all the, the mass flow gets together in the condenser, so we don't have 1 minus y, but we have 1 minus y plus y is 1. 
we have the complete flow rate here. So that will be plus H2. Now we need to subtract the streams, the mass flow rate in the streams that we have. The first one will be Y H3. Does this exit of the closed fluid water heater? Minus H4. So this is equal to zero. If we rearrange everything, we can solve for y, which is a fraction that we are going to extract from the solvent, and it's h4 minus h2 divided by h6 minus h3. You are required to find these values, but for your reference, this will be point. 2482 and uh, by applying the same concept set in the previous problem computing the network and the total heat in you will find out also that efficiency is 43.50%. Now, in order for us to compare with the previous one, we know that in the open feed water here, open feed water here, the fraction that we extracted was. 20% steam and efficiency was 24, uh, 44, 37. So that uh, confirms what we discussed in the theory that uh, the closed feed water heater um, is more efficient. As we mix them, uh, we have an extra cost of the pump and uh, the closed feed water heaters, since they don't mix, they don't have as good heat transfers, so their efficiency will be lower. Okay, guys, um, next video will be on combined cycles, so see you later. Thank you.